Hello world, welcome to the 74th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In today's video we're going to be building a weather app that talks to you. And so talking about the weather is a basic function that most digital assistants have and that Shane will need. So let's check out uh, a scene from the Iron Man movie where I got my inspiration from, and then we'll check out my code. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. The weather in Malibu is 72 degrees with scattered clouds. Okay, now let's check out what I built. Good morning. The weather in Fairfax is 66 degrees with broken clouds. All right, so... Pretty close, just doesn't have the cool Jarvis voice played by an actor. And so the code is kind of simple too for what we just created, and let's go through that now. So first, you'll need to register for an API from openweathermap.org. I'll put a link in the description, but you basically go to API, and then you'll want to subscribe. To get your own API. There's a free version and that's all we're using for this but as you can see there are paid subscriptions as well too. Now it does take a couple hours to get your uh, you'll get an API key in your email right away but it does take a couple hours to uh, activate and you'll get a an error if you follow my code that said the subscription is not available. So you just have to wait if you follow my directions. Then you'll need to, um, you can use the API directly using its documentation from the website. However, there is a Python library which I'm using. So you'll need to pip install pyowm or open weather map. So pip install pyowm. Then you'll need to import pyowm. And then the, spe the text to speech is something I've covered in previous videos and this is my own custom function and then I decided to store my API key in a file called keys if you don't choose to do that you'll need to copy and paste it in the next line so you start off with a variable called OWM equals pi OWM dot capitals OWM and then you pass it your API key Okay, I called mine open weather API. Then you do a variable called observation equals OWM, which we just did an instance here, dot weather underscore at underscore place. And then this is where you put the city if it's unique. So Fairfax, Virginia luckily is unique. The city ID or the city comma no space and the state or country. Then you could set whatever variable you want equals observation dot get weather. And then you have options of what we're going to do. So we're going to go over three methods here with the dot get weather function. So first we're going to get the temperature and we want it in Fahrenheit. So this is how you do it right here. Temperature equals W, which we just instanced here, dot get temperature and then you pass it Fahrenheit. Then we want the detailed status, which is when it said broken clouds. And then it also gives you a little tiny icon, which we probably won't be using and it doesn't look as nice as your um, iPhone icon. And then my custom uh, function for speech to text or text to speech says, good morning, the weather in Fairfax is now the temperature that we set up here is a float. So if we were to pass it, or if we were just to print out the float, it would be 66 point something something. So to make it just 67 or 66 degrees, you have to make it an integer. But for it to be voice activated, you have to pass it a string. So we made a string of this integer of this float called temperature. And then in that temperature, we just want the temp plus the string degrees with and then the status. The status is right here, the get detailed status. So we also printed it down here. So we printed the integer version of this float, temp equals temp. 
Okay, we could see what else is in there too. So if we just went like this and typed print w and then we commented all this out, we can see what's available to us. So you get this weather object right here. So if we wanted to check out more, we can go uh, just some temperature right here. Let's see what's available to us there. Okay, you could see the max and the minimum. And so we chose just to get the temp and how you do that. is by doing like this. You pass it the temperature part of the temp because this is just a JSON right here. So you may have noticed that it prints an icon as well. Let's look at that icon. There you go. These little clouds right here. So again, not as fancy as your iPhone. Okay, there's a lot more you can do if you go to uh, Pi OWM documentation. And I'll put the link in the description for this too, and it tells you all the stuff you can do, specifically in the weather API examples. All right. So I print out this um, just for debugging purposes. So we'll be putting this all together in the next Shane update. And um, please subscribe so you can watch me build my own digital assistant. And like this video. Thanks. Goodbye, world.